This video was made possible by CuriosityStream. Watch unlimited documentaries for free for a month at curiositystream.com slash H-A-I. Your license plate can say a lot about you. It might say you have bad culinary preferences, it might say you're fake Canadian, or if you have the right one, it might say that you're the type of person who would enjoy flushing money down the toilet just for the fleeting moment of amusement stemmed from emulating the analogous metaphor. Let me explain slowly and circuitously. License plates have been around for over a century, starting in 1901 when New York first required that all car owners write their own initials on the back of their cars, quote, in a conspicuous place, the letters forming such initials to be at least three inches in height. Back then, in addition to the three inch initials, owners were allowed to choose an identifying number to put on the back and they could write their initials and that number however they wanted, in wood, in metal, or even in the tiers of the horse and buggy riders they could now zoom past in their magical metal chariots. But pretty soon, there started to be a problem. Too many car owners had these same initials. You would think this would be a pretty predictable problem in a country where they had already had presidents James Madison and James Monroe, John Adams and John Adams, and Andrew Jackson and Andrew Johnson. This must be the diversity problem they're talking about with US presidents. To fix this initial issue, in 1903, New York changed things up and decided that the government would start assigning people unique license plate numbers. No more writing your initials on the back of the car, which was great news for then-governor of New York Benjamin O'Dell, who was presumably tired of driving around in a car that said B.O. Nowadays, the system is about the same. Most governments assign people their license plate numbers completely randomly. If you want a specific number or set of letters, a vanity plate as they're called, you'll have to get the government to give it to you, or if somebody already owns the license plate you want, you'll have to get that person to sell it to you, and that's where the market for special license plates comes in. Normally, a license plate costs somewhere between nothing and $20. In the US, depending on the state, a vanity license plate might cost between $5 and $100 if you buy it from the government. But on the private license plate selling market, the prices for certain plates can be a lot higher. Of course, when I say a lot higher, I mean a lot higher. For example, since I like saying things that have never been said, let's talk about Delaware. In Delaware, there's no limit on how low someone's license plate number can be. Therefore, one can be just the number one, and someone's is, by law, is the governor's. The lieutenant governor then gets two, and the Delaware Secretary of State gets three, but everything else is available to the public. Your license plate might be four, or five, or six, or seven, or eight, or nine, or ten, or eleven, or twelve, or thirteen, or fourteen, or you know what? You probably get it. It can be really any number, like fifteen, or 16 or 17 or 18 or 19 or 20 or 21 or 22. Those are all numbers. Those low license plate numbers can lead to some very high bids when they go up for auction. In 2018, the Delaware license plate 20 went for $410,000. But the biggest sale of a Delaware license plate was in 2008 when someone paid $675,000 for the license plate 6. That's right, six, as in the amount of money someone paid for this license plate makes me six to my stomach. But it's not just low numbers that can fetch high prices. If your license plate says the right letters, it can spell a huge payday from the right buyer. For example, take this Texas license plate, 12th man. The football team at Texas A&M University calls its fans their 12th man, as in there are 11 players on the field and the fans are their 12th player, which is why this Texas 12th man plate was bought for $115,000, presumably by a very passionate Texas A&M fan who now spends his days driving his car around football games instead of watching them because he spent all his season to get money on a license plate. But if you're wondering where the most expensive license plate in the world was sold, it's not Delaware, it's not Texas, it's not even the dystopian human-free world of the Pixar Cars films, it's rich people Disneyland, the United Arab Emirates. The UAE puts a ton of value on unique license plate numbers and actually has both the world's first and second most expensive license plates. This guy, Bawinder Sani, spent $9 million on the license plate 5, which he put onto his Rolls Royce. Yes, five, as in the number of $1.8 million mansions he could have bought with that money instead of buying a license plate. But he is beaten out by this man, oil tycoon Sayed Abdul Ghaffour Khoury, who in 2008 paid about $14.3 million for a license plate that just said one, making it the most expensive license plate in the world. One, as in I am the one person who is rich enough and crazy enough to spend $14.3 million on a license plate.
Of course, if I believed in cars, what I would put on my license plate would be curiositystream.com slash HII because that's the link at which you can watch unlimited documentaries of over 2400 titles for free for a month. These titles span all genres and interests and can be accessed globally on pretty much any platform like Apple TV, Roku, iOS, Android, Chromecast, a bunch more, and even the good old fashioned web. If you're looking for something to start with, I'd recommend Vitamania. It's a fascinating documentary by fellow YouTuber Derek from Veritasium. Curiosity Stream costs just $2.99 per month regularly, but once again, if you go to the link curiositystream.com slash HAI and use the code HAI, you will get your first month for free.